Welcome to Varsity. I'm Ryan Aber, joined by Scott Wright, here to talk about the boys' basketball playoffs. Scott, 5A got a lot more interesting last week uh, when uh, Dell City had an unfortunate injury. Uh, we've thought that the Eagles were the favorites uh, all year, but uh, how much does this open things up? It certainly makes a big difference. Brett Cannon was uh, was really vital to this team as a point guard, uh, a guy who can score inside and out as far as getting to the rim uh, and and shooting the three pointer. Uh, so uh, if there's a team that can handle a, a loss like this, it's Dell City. I think in 5A they have more guards than uh, than just about anybody than Carl Albert. So uh, they're they're prepared to absorb this loss, uh, but at the same time it, it does uh, it does take a, take them a notch down on their on their depth things like that. So this is definitely going to impact things. Bring them back to the field a little bit as well. It was uh, it was really sort of sort of looking like a a, a, a two maybe four team race with Del City and Carl Albert there at the top, uh, Tulsa Central and McGinnis right there behind them. Uh, but I think that uh, I think that this really kind of shakes things up and gives some other teams maybe some confidence that uh, that they can go in and, and knock off a team like Del City. And uh, in Class 3A, Centennial uh, won the state championship last year, their first in school history. Do they have what it takes to make a run uh, this year in Class 3A? Absolutely, they do. A very different team. They lost some uh, some pretty important players off of uh, off of that squad, leaning on, a lot more on some young guys, some freshmen who were playing as uh, or some sophomores who were playing as freshmen last year, uh, some freshmen who have come in uh, off of last year's eighth grade team and, uh, and been able to jump in and, and make an impact. Then you've got some senior leadership, a guy like Deshaun Carolina right there at the, at the top kind of uh, holding things together uh, but definitely a solid team number three in the rankings right now they've played that tough all city conference schedule that uh, that everybody has to fight through to get to this point in the season and uh, and I think that they're definitely ready to make a run can they beat Washington I don't know I think Washington's definitely the favorite there uh, Cal Andrews Jesse Nixon both playing extremely well this season I think that they are the team to beat a lot of size a lot of uh, some some solid cards as well I think that they're the team to beat but don't count Centennial out and then uh, class 6A, they get started this week with regionals. Uh, Edmund Memorial uh, certainly has a, a team that's played really well. Uh, what are their chances uh, to repeat, especially given what Tulsa Union's done on the east side of the state? I've been saying for uh, for a couple of weeks that I feel Tulsa Union is the number one team in 6A right now, but I'm still holding on to Ed Memorial as the favorite. I think that uh, that their guard play is uh, is going to uh, to what be what ultimately decides whether they can uh, can get this done. Obviously, they've got the Woodard brothers. Uh, James, James has already signed with Tulsa. Jordan has offers from all over the place. Just visited Kansas uh, last week. Um, uh, they've they've got uh, they've got some depth, uh, though not m probably as much as uh, as what Shane Coward would like, uh, but. But Tulsa Union is really balanced all over the floor. Good size everywhere. Uh, they're undefeated. They've gotten to this point without a, without a loss, which you uh, you can't discount that at all. Uh, so obviously playing well, and, and Coach Rudy Garcia is going to have them uh, on task throughout the playoffs. You would you would expect. I think that this could be uh, one of our one of our best six uh, A playoff showdowns if these two teams happen to uh, happen to be meeting for the Gold Ball on uh, on Saturday in a couple of weeks. Should be a fun one here in a couple weeks. Should be a fun weekend this week with A and B's in uh, area. All the other classes in region. Scott, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Check us out every day at newsok.com slash varsity for the best high school coverage anywhere.